Welcome to this video on Salesforce Field Service Schedule Optimization, your key to unlocking the full potential of scheduling efficiency. We will explore how to create an optimal schedule and help minimize travel time, overtime, costs, and no-shows for your field service agents. Let's jump right in. So, what exactly is Salesforce Field Service Scheduling Optimization? It's a strategic approach to managing your field service operations seamlessly within the Salesforce ecosystem. Imagine transforming a tangled web of appointments into a synchronized ballet, where every move is strategic and efficient. The benefits are substantial. Let's take a quick look. 1. Increased productivity. Assign the right tasks to the right technicians, reducing downtime and boosting overall productivity. 2. Cost savings. Optimize travel routes and schedules to minimize costs, making your operations lean and efficient. 3. Enhanced customer experience. Provide timely and efficient service, leading to satisfied and loyal customers. In this video, we will guide you through how to optimize scheduling for your team, territories, and individual field agents. Let's get started. To begin, it's important to understand what types of optimization options exist for scheduling. There are three foundational types of optimization you can set up in field service depending on the use case. Global optimization. This is ideal for optimizing your team's field service schedule for one or more service territories across a specified range of days. Global optimization is the most thorough and powerful option, which also takes the most time and produces the most optimal schedule. This is best done more than one day in advance. In-day optimization, territory. This is a quicker, lightweight optimization option to address last minute changes and conflicts. It helps you re-optimize the schedule to address service changes on the day of the appointment due to common scenarios like cancellations, reschedules, or no-shows. Because it runs quicker than global optimization, it can help you respond to new circumstances and avoid conflicting changes to schedules when you need to optimize during the course of the business day. Resource schedule optimization, non-territory. This type of optimization targets an individual resources schedule on your team. This type of optimization is similar to in-day optimization. However, the primary difference is it targets an individual resource as opposed to an entire territory or set of territories. Before getting ready to optimize, we must ensure our org is prepped by enabling optimization and validating key setup configurations. The first order of business is creating the field service optimization profile and user. Once the creation process completes, you will see a message that the optimization user was created and the optimization profile was assigned to it. Next, we can run the optimization readiness check. This will check if there are any issues that need to be resolved before enabling optimization. Once the readiness check is complete, go ahead and turn on enhanced optimization and scheduling. Next, we can review key settings you should review to ensure optimization works as expected. You configure these settings in the Logic tab under Optimization, then Activation. Optimization runtime per service appointment determines how much time the optimizer can spend assessing scheduling combinations for each service appointment. Increasing the length of the optimization run can increase the number of iterations the optimizer can evaluate to produce the most optimal results. A low setting will produce the quickest results, but setting runtime to medium or high will generally help you achieve higher optimization quality. This is especially important when using SLR or point-to-point -point predictive routing, as well as when you have a large number of candidates for your service appointments. Now that the checklist is completed, we can schedule and run optimization jobs. There are two primary options when creating an optimization request. The first is manually dispatch a console. Dispatchers can manually start a global or in-day optimization run by clicking the Optimize button from their appointment list. They select what territories they would like to optimize and the date horizon they wish to target. They can choose to optimize all appointments or just appointments that have not yet been scheduled. They must also select which scheduling policy they would like to use when optimizing. Optionally, they can filter which appointments to optimize by selecting a Boolean field in the filter services by menu and second, automatically scheduled job. Global and in-day optimization can also be scheduled to run automatically. Set this up in the Field Service Settings tab of the Field Service Admin app by going to Optimization, then Scheduled Jobs. 
Select the territories you would like to include in the job and set the time horizon in days, which determines how many days from runtime moving forward will be scheduled. A leading practice is to start with a smaller horizon, such as one to three days, to reduce optimization runtime and help avoid limits that may be encountered with extraordinarily large data sets. Define a frequency in which you would like the job to recur. You can choose a particular day or days of the week, or alternatively, particular days of the month. You also select a specific hour and minute, such as midnight, or a recurring runtime like every 12 hours. Note that the times are based on the time zone of the logged in user creating this job, so keep that in mind if you are configuring jobs that support multiple time zones. Finally, let's review some important concepts and considerations when setting up optimization for your business. Ultimately, optimization runtime is limited. There is never enough time to review and evaluate the billions or more of potential scheduling combinations for a field service organization. Our goal is to deliver the highest quality schedule within reasonable time constraints. We do this and drive scheduling efficiency and effectiveness by reducing the magnitude of the problems presented by the complexity of scheduling field service work. A few additional best practices to implement for schedule optimization. As you begin your journey with optimization, where possible, strive to keep it simple and not overcomplicate your policies, attempting to account for all possible edge cases. Remember, the higher you set your runtime per service appointment, the more time the optimization engine has to achieve the highest results. If at all possible for your business, we recommend a medium or high runtime setting. Review the optimization limits. Help article linked here as you prepare and plan optimization for your org. Keep these limits in mind as you structure your jobs and select the number of territories to include as well as the horizon for your requests, as these decisions ultimately determine much of the data domain required to execute each optimization request. Where possible, consider piloting optimization in a few key territories or markets. This allows you to simplify the early phases of your rollout and capture feedback quicker. Identify change champions for your business who are subject matter experts in your field service processes and optimization using Salesforce Field Service. This will help you provide points of contact and expertise for your teams during the rollout. Thank you for joining us on this journey through field service schedule optimization. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.